Syria regime change on Bilderberg agenda. We put this out on Saturday, but I wanted to get back into it because it's important. The presence of Syrian National Transitional Council head Basma Kodmani at the 2012 Bilderberg conference clearly indicates that power brokers at the elite confab will be discussing the effort to topple President Bashar al-Assad and install a NATO-friendly administration in the violence-stricken country. Kodmani is the head of foreign affairs with the SNC, a coalition of Syrian opposition groups based in Istanbul, Turkey. While at the Bilderberg meeting, she will be in the company, the esteemed company of the likes of former Secretary of State and accused war criminal Henry Kissinger, Warhawk Richard Pearl, and Thomas E. Donilon, National Security Advisor for the Obama White House. So we've got this um, Syrian rebel transitional representative scuttling away to her little com conference room to plot with Bilderberg about overthrowing another sovereign country. Brookings Institute, of course, the think tank that's laid out the plan in explicit detail to topple Syria for the globalists, they're represented at Bilderberg. She's no doubt going to be discussing things with them, or has done over the past few days. And then, of course, the news that came out during the conference, Bilderberg member and close friend of Kissinger, Fareed Zakaria, pushing on CNN a plan to starve Syrians to death as part of the uh, regime change humanitarian love mission. Of course, we had the Hula massacre happened uh, last weekend. Eyewitnesses said it was carried out by terrorists. That's been blamed on Assad's forces. Like, it would be such a great global propaganda coup to go and massacre dozens of kids. But that's becoming the central hallmark on which all this is being built. It's, it's sounding very much like the uh, Hill and Knowlton Saddam incubator baby hoax. And of course, Susan Rice came out. This is the US ambassador who likes to openly make terrorist threats. If you don't stand down, you'll get more terrorist attacks. That's literally what she said a couple of weeks ago. We got Hillary Clinton coming out, another merchant of death. Both of them are threatening more military action. And Syria is definitely the next domino that they need to fall. And that's why this SNC Syria member was at Bilderberg this year. Word is they're planning a, a fake Saddam-style faux revolution statue toppling ceremony uh, in the middle of Damascus to try and fake senior military commanders in the Syrian army into the uh, false assumption that the end of the regime is near. They're trying to get them to defect by staging a fake statue toppling. Remember the one in Iraq? They claimed it was, you know, thousands of Iraqis in Baghdad. Turned out it was a handful led by Ahmed Shalabi, the, uh, the US stooge. So they're planning on some global media event like that to try and get military commanders to defect in Syria. There's also a plan in place to uh, shut down Syrian state TV so the opposition can monopolize the propaganda. And Bilderberg is firmly behind regime change in Syria, just as they were in Libya. Remember Sam Moritz last year in Switzerland, Bilderberg gave the, the green light to get the job finished in Libya. Uh, a few months later, Gaddafi was gone and the uh, friendly NATO-backed Al-Qaeda rebels were flying their black and white flag over courthouses and other centers of power in Libya. So it seems, again, history is repeating itself with Bilderberg moving firmly behind the agenda with the rest of the neocon establishment to attack Syria. Now, moving on to...